and welcome to our video presentation on prevention and management of bed bugs in adult foster care facilities. By the end of this presentation, you should have a working knowledge of all of the topics listed on this slide. We hope you find this information helpful. In the past 10 years, bed bugs have become a serious pest in the United States. Bed bugs, like mosquitoes, are insects that feed on blood. Bed bugs live in the home, especially in and around the bed, and usually bite at night when people are sleeping. They will feed at any time of day if necessary. Bed bugs can be an annoyance because their presence may cause itching and loss of sleep. If you think that you may have bed bugs, it's very important to do a thorough inspection and to begin treatment as soon as possible. Treating a bed bug infestation early will save you a lot of time and money. There are three main life stages of bed bugs. The whitish egg, which is about one millimeter in length. The five pale juvenile or nymph stages that range from one millimeter to 4.5 millimeter and the adult, which can be as long as seven or eight millimeters when fed. The newly hatched nymph stage is very pale until it feeds. Then it looks like a tiny droplet of blood. Each nymph stage will feed and become filled with red blood. The adult is about the size and shape of an apple seed and is dark red to brown in color and as flat as a credit card before feeding. Here are some fast facts about bed bugs. Bed bugs do not transmit diseases to people, may trigger asthma, cannot fly or jump, but can run fast, are large enough to be seen, can be transported in personal belongings, are often found on thrown out furniture, can travel through a building, can be difficult to control, and can be eliminated and prevented. Many people will react to bed bug bites with an itchy welt, similar to a mosquito bite. However, bite reactions can vary from person to person and some people do not react at all. Other signs of a bed bug problem can include finding small wingless bugs in cracks and crevices around the bed, seeing small blood spots or bed bug fecal matter on the bedding, or finding bed bug eggs and or cast skins. Not all bugs that you find in your bedroom are bed bugs. If you find a bug that you suspect is a bed bug, you should save it to show it to an expert. The only way to find out for sure that you have bed bugs is to find a live bed bug in your home. You can't tell just by looking at insect bites. If you suspect that you may have bed bugs, you should do a careful inspection of your bed or sleeping area. You can also contact a pest management professional to do an inspection for bed bugs. When doing an inspection for bed bugs, make sure to check the sheets, pillows, and blankets for stains, look under the mattress and pillows, Inspect the seams and puckers of the mattress and box spring. Check the bed frame for bugs and stains. Inspect the floor and moldings. While inspecting, look inside and underneath drawers. Inspect radios, phones, and clocks near the bed or on a nightstand as these are great places for bed bugs to hide. Controlling bed bugs is a difficult, money-consuming activity. However, bed bugs can be eliminated with a coordinated effort that includes cooperation of the facility staff members and residents. There is no single tool or activity that, 
when used alone will eliminate bed bugs, including pesticides. Multiple techniques are always required because bed bugs are small, good at hiding, and reportedly live without feeding for up to a year. In some cases, bed bugs are resistant to the pesticides used against them, meaning that many will survive treatment. A combination of several of the following steps will be needed for bed bug elimination. Clean and organize the bed, bedroom, other living areas, furniture and belongings, including elimination of clutter, physical removal of bed bug eggs and bed bugs using a vacuum, use of barriers such as mattress encasements and sticky barriers, use of steam to kill all life stages, use of heat or cold treatments to kill all life stages. Anything made of wicker should probably be discarded as wicker furniture provides infinite hiding places for bed bugs. Eliminate bed bug hiding spots, including wallpaper and crevices, and use of chemical applications. A vacuum used for bed bugs can have live bed bugs inside, and it will be important to avoid transferring bed bugs to a new location. Dedicate a vacuum for the purpose of pest control in your facility. After each use, remove the vacuum bag and dispose of it in a sealed plastic bag. Clean the brush attachment with hot water and detergent. Stuff a paper towel in the hose end to prevent bed bugs caught in the hose from escaping. Store the pest control vacuum in a large plastic garbage bag that is closed tightly. Inspect the vacuum before each use to be sure no live bed bugs are on the outside. Pesticides are an important tool in the fight against bed bugs. Many legal over-the-counter and some illegal products are readily available to the public. Residents should not attempt to do their own pest control. They should contact facility staff members to report pest problems and should be reminded to follow the guidelines for cleaning and room preparation. When bed bugs appear in an adult foster care facility, it's suggested to hire a pest management professional and work very closely with their technicians to manage bed bugs safely and effectively. The technician will conduct an inspection to confirm and locate the bed bugs. This person will then make recommendations for preparing the room for treatment. When hiring a pest management professional, there are some things to consider. The pest management company should be licensed by the state and insured. Technicians should also be fully licensed in the state and certified pest management professionals. Technicians should have experience with bed bug management. Choose a company based on their quality of service, not the price. Get several proposals for service, if possible, and compare them. A pre-inspection should be conducted to assess the scope of the work. The proposed work should follow the steps of integrated pest management and not just pesticide application. Technicians should be straightforward and open when discussing details of their service. Also, understand what guarantees are being offered. Bed bug management may be difficult to guarantee because reinfestation from an outside source is possible. Pesticides alone should not be used to control bed bugs. The most effective program for eliminating bed bugs is one that utilizes integrated pest management, acronym IPM. IPM is the use of all possible methods in a logical combination that minimizes risk of pesticide exposure, safeguards the environment, and maximizes effectiveness. Facilities should have a pest management plan in place 
to deal with pests including bed bugs before they become a problem. The IPM method should include the following. Inspecting infested areas plus surrounding living spaces. Correctly identify the pest. Keep records including dates and locations where pests were found. Clean all items within a bed bug infested living area. Reduce clutter where bed bugs can hide through storage and or disposal of items. Eliminate bed bug habitats. Physically remove bed bugs through cleaning. Careful pesticide use according to the label directions. Follow up on inspections and possible treatments. And raise awareness through education on prevention of bed bugs. A facility may need several cycles of inspections, cleaning, and pesticide use before bed bugs are fully eliminated. IPM also includes prevention through education of residents and the facility staff members. Let's review best management practices for controlling bed bugs. The responsibilities of the adult foster care management and staff members include the following. Encourage residents to report bed bugs. Keep records of bed bug complaints on site in a logbook. Respond quickly to complaints with an inspection and intervention. Develop an aggressive bed bug control protocol with elimination as the goal. Raise residents and their guests awareness of bed bugs. Institute a prevention program centered on awareness. Refer residents and their guests to the proper sources of help, such as medical, mental health, financial, or social services. If they are able, the responsibility of adult foster care residents include the following. Read and follow all guidelines given by facility management for reporting signs of bed bugs and for cleaning and room preparation. Cooperate with staff members and management staff in preventing and controlling bed bugs, whether their individual living space is infested or not. Know the signs of bed bugs and check constantly for signs of them in their living space. Encourage other residents to follow guidelines and cooperate with management. Management should keep the following pest information records for all types of pests. The date of the complaint, the type of complaint such as bites, bug sightings, damage to property, etc. The unit or room number, the date of the first pest inspection, results of the inspection, such as what was found, how much was found, the dates of pest management activities, and what pest management strategies were used, such as cleaning, pesticide treatments, resident education, etc. Here are a few strategies that do not work. Abandoning rooms or even a whole facility is not a guarantee that bed bugs will be eradicated. Adult bed bugs can live without a blood meal for over a year and will wander to find a new host when one is unavailable. The use of bug bombs or total release foggers is not advised. These devices release insecticide in small droplets that land on exposed surfaces and do not penetrate the cracks and crevices where the bed bugs hide. This results in increased pesticide exposure to the residents and poor control of these pests. This has been linked to pesticide resistance and suspected repellency to bed bugs, causing them to spread. Simply discarding beds and bedding is not a sound approach to bed bug management. Bed bugs will spread quickly to walls, molding, ceilings, light fixtures, electronics, TV remote controls, alarm clocks, and spaces within and along the floorboards and edges of the carpets. If items are discarded, they should be wrapped in plastic before transport and labeled 
as infected with bed bugs or made unsalvageable. Bed bugs and other pests sometimes elicit fear and panic in people. Most are unwilling to live with pests, especially those that bite. However, some individuals are resigned to living with bed bugs and may be the source of an infestation in an adjacent unit or room. Complaints about pests or bites must be handled immediately and with concern, but also with a logical approach that relies on science and pest control expertise. The typical course of events would be complaint, inspection, confirmation, cleaning, treatment, future prevention, and follow-up. There are ways to prevent your facility from getting bed bugs in the first place. Avoid picking up used mattresses or secondhand upholstered furniture because it's hard to see whether they harbor bed bugs. Other used furniture might be carefully inspected and cleaned before it's brought into the home. Scrubbed furniture with soapy water or a household cleaning product to remove any possible bed bugs or their eggs. Secondhand clothing should be placed in a sealed plastic bag and emptied directly into the washing machine. They should be washed in hot water and dried on a high heat setting to kill the bed bugs and their eggs. The reduction of household clutter is absolutely necessary for fighting bed bugs. To avoid getting bed bugs while working at an adult foster care facility, staff members can take the following steps. Ask or know ahead of time whether the facility has bed bugs. Do not bring bags or personal belongings inside the facility if there is an infestation. For cleaning and maintenance crews, wear protective coveralls that will prevent bed bugs from hitching a ride on clothes or shoes. Discard the coveralls by changing immediately and by sealing the suit in a plastic bag. Provide dissolving plastic bags to staff that allow the user to isolate infested clothing until it can be placed in the wash. Carefully shake out your clothes while standing outside before returning to your home. Bring a change of clothes and shoes for working. Change clothes at work and keep the clothes and shoes in a sealed bag for laundering. Be vigilant about what to look for. Bed bugs are visible, but the youngest ones are very small. Inspect your own living and workspace on a regular basis. Thank you for watching our video presentation, Prevention and Management of Bed Bugs in Adult Foster Care Facilities. Located in the information box below this video presentation are links to additional education materials on the prevention and management of bed bugs. See you soon.